everybody, welcome to this amazing game of Dead by Daylight. While we're waiting in queue here, let me go over a couple of things. I got busy in the weekend, and I unfortunately did not get to write the script on the Saturday that I thought I was going to be able to do it on, because I had to go to work. Uh, so I killed all of my free time, I couldn't do the script. And on Sunday, I still had my obligations with the giveaway that we did. If you missed the giveaway, I do apologize. Follow my Twitter, follow my Discord if you want to participate in any giveaways that I do for my stream and YouTube. Um, those would be the best ways to figure it out. Uh, so anyways, getting on to the topic of what today's video is going to be about is, uh, well first, playing David King. Uh, we're doing Borrowed Time, Dead Hard, Self Care, and Small Game. I'm running Small Game because I'm totem hunting and I'm also trying to take hits near hooks, so those are for two achievements uh, because I don't play Survivor very much. And then we're also going to be discussing throughout this video uh, the differences in which uh, me and Jen Denise got to talk about and it's the killer's perspective and the survivor's perspective. So uh, from a survivor's perspective of a killer, you call them a camper when they defend the hook, you know, you, you hate the way they play and it's camping and all that. And then you also have the survivor to survivor perspective and that was a big thing. I didn't notice this until after I talked to Jen Denise because then I got the answer that I've been looking for. It's like, what does a survivor suffer that a killer doesn't? It's like, killers suffer to the survivor themselves and there's four of them so how could that be so bad? And it's actually being the survivor with the other survivors. Um, being a survivor against survivor you have what I call farmers. Uh, you have farmers that just hunt you for points using the perk we're gonna live forever so if I go over to my we're gonna live forever perk I think I have it on here somewhere there we go we're gonna live forever gives you a massive boost to all blood point gains to a maximum of 200 percent that's massive that's a farming style kind of thing and you know what it's crazy good so people have been farming that regardless if they live or die, and regardless of how other people live or die. So with that being said, you've got all this shit going on, and you've got campers defending the hook because they need the kill, and you've got farmers killing the people on the hook because the campers are there defending the, the territory, and then the farmers kind of want to get their points off that hook, and the killers are trying to get their points off the hook, and that, so you got this struggle. Survivors are the farmers, and survivors farm other survivors, and killers are the campers that stop the farmers from farming, and it's kind of awkward because the farmers farm effectively when campers defend, and it's so weird. So in the end, it is, it's really a good way to look at how we really view the whole situation. It, it's campers versus farmers and it's really hard to get it over but the fact that they're changing we're gonna live forever is gonna really alleviate the farmer situation and then you still have campers now when we say camping we don't mean just the face campers we mean all sorts of defense because people are called campers even if they walk away that's a big problem so I think we made it abundantly clear to this day that camping is a viable strategy I've seen tons of people talk about it there's lots of defense for it I think we've all come to the general consensus that it's fine and the idea that it's a less skillful tactic is silly. I, and Jen Denise agrees with me as far as that goes. It, it's, it's what the killer's got to do against overall truism. And overall truism happens due to farmers. And even if the We're Gonna Live it, uh, Forever perk doesn't exist, uh, farmers still exist. And we're at the gas haven, at the auto haven wreckers. And so, with that being said, we got, we got a lot to consider, a lot to handle here. Um... And with that being said, um, in the end, we as killers and survivors need each other. We absolutely need each other. Please don't tell me you're coming in here for no freaking reason. Generator's not even being done. Generator's not even being done. Oh, I thought I saw white. Is it a nurse? What the hell are they doing? What are they doing? Okay. All right. Um, so we have to understand we need each other. Because as I'm playing Survivor games, let me tell you, this has been hard to find games. I play against one, two, maybe three different killers. And I wait for these killers to get out of their other game so I can play as a survivor. And then when I'm killer, I get the same few survivors that just keep rolling back into my game. And the survivors that I don't play against are purposely down ranking in order to get faster games because a lot of killers are lower rank at this point and that's bad that's really bad uh we can't we can't have this happen uh, survivors you gotta rank up 
even if there's not a lot of killers, you got to encourage killers to rank up. Maybe feed a couple? I don't know. I, I don't want to say that that's the way to go, but I think that if killers don't have to deal with the massive bullcrap, which have, has been getting better. Survivors have gotten a lot better. I've seen tons of survivors work together, not bullshit on the killer, because I'm not going to lie, I think Survivor is the easiest role to play in this game. It is the least stressful, and it's the most fun. A killer who chases you really good makes the game really fun. You as a Survivor, you don't make the fun game. The game always fun for the <laughs> killer. Uh, and there's several changes that can happen. Um, as far as what they could do to make the game a little better for killers. A long time ago, they made an adjustment to... Oh, it is the nurse. A long time ago, they made adjustments to... Ooh, what are you doing, nurse? Oh, that's bad. So look, I already discovered it's a camp. Camping nurse, like, she's definitely not gonna let this go. Are they getting this? Good, I'll help her. Um, a long time ago, they made a, they made a change to the perk set, or not perk set, but the, the mechanics of pallets. And pallets did a few things. Oh no. Please hang in there. Please hang in there. Hang in there, girly. I'll be coming there for a second. Just let me get this as much as possible. I'm gonna make a last second save. This is a huge thing. This is the biggest This is the biggest Oh jeez. Oh, uh, this is bad news, bears. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, keep struggling there. Okay, we got it. We got it. Let's get this. Let's get the heels in. See, this is this is good saves versus bad. This is a good play versus a bad play. We didn't risk our lives to save what was possibly, you know, a dead person. And there, I even got a full save. We're doing all right. I'm not hearing this killer blink. This is awkward. She's not blinking. Oh, there she goes. I think the killer might be a new nurse. Uh, might be first time nurse too, but she just got two points off our Nia here, and it comes down to smart plays Make great great make great decisions. You make smart plays you make a bad decision You make bad plays and if you can't acknowledge your own poor plays as a survivor, which is an easy thing to be a survivor I've seen way too many people um, Claim and boast how good they are as a survivor, but but in truth really it, this is not a hard task um it's sometimes dull for some people who are having such an easy time. That's how easy this... And that's a bad play. Someone is intentionally killing themselves, and I, I would go save them, but they let it happen. And I don't even know why. Why would you let yourself die like that? That's a bad decision. A bad play that ultimately harms your whole team. And you have to acknowledge that it's not the camping nurse that was really the problem here. It wasn't. Oh shit. See, the nurse is actually, I would say she's really new. Doesn't even know you could break generators likely. And in this situation, it's like you can't blame the nurse. She might not even know better. She did her job. She got an outright kill. She hooks anyone else. It's a pip. Or well, She's got to get a kill, but she's got two points on Nia. She's got four points on the dead person. Can't even say their name, but it fell on that survivor who died, and that's the reason if this killer ranks up, she's the reason the killer ranks up. It was a bad play, a poor decision, and I'm not going to blame the nurse for making a bad play. Oh, poor little nurse. She's looking for me. She's not using her blinks to get a Ooh, she found me, kids. I have some trouble here. Oh, shit, we're in trouble. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> She's new at nurse. She doesn't know the blinks very well. And the other thing to know about nurse is she is actually slower than a sur running survivor. Uh, not by much, but a little bit. So over time, if you just if you just run, you'll outrun her. Yeah. And we actually already know that this nurse isn't that strong of a killer. So I'm gonna like go find something else to do. She, she just joking around. Oh, there she is. She, she found them. So the one way nurse can catch up with you is bloodlust. Uh, bloodlust will give her extra movement speed, which will make you her faster than you if she stays on you. But every time she blinks, it resets bloodlust because blinking is an offensive action. Taking any offensive action should ultimately ooh that Nia gets hit. She's in trouble. Yeah, see, I can already see the killer struggling here. And and in a sense, I want to see at the end, are the survivors going to yell camper because she stayed near and defended? I mean, in truth, this killer's probably very, very upset. Frustrated. Frustration. It's a terrible thing. I just need some points. All right, so there's no, no, Ed. There's probably not any decent perks on her. But I can't let that Nia go down. And if Nia does go down, she's dead. I'm gonna do my best to like. I'm gonna do my best to body block a hook, get some points. I need to take as many hits as I can, really. Where's she at? Oh, she lost her. Is she okay? Yeah. Kill is. Gone out and about. I didn't see where the other door was. Okay, found you. Is everyone okay? Where's Nia? At? Where's the other door at? Oh, okay, Nia's out and she's safe. We're good. We'll be leaving then. Uh oh. You got your hair. So, um, really, it, it's it's interesting to see. Like, let's see what's the results. It should be a rank twenty killer. Rank twenty. Yeah, see, I'm rank one, and that's not really fair to the killer. Let me see what I can do. So I just gave her some basic advice. Hopefully that helps her out along the line. So there's a few things we should say right now uh, before I move on in the video. One, um. And just, I, I've learned of some fakers out there that pretend to be me that are not me. Uh, to be fair, <laughs> if there's a dot .tv in my name, it's not me. Guaranteed. If it's not my name and I don't like have 700 games on Steam, it's not me. My name is Tide Time. I'm the one and only. And if I have a different name elsewhere, I'll be sure to let you know. But for the most part... I've already let everybody know. I'm just on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. That That's really it. If you see me, that's in Steam. And if you see me anywhere else, it's probably not me. If you have a question, if it's me, feel free to hit me up in any of the comments down below. I'll confirm with you whether it's me or not. I also have an open Discord in the description down below. If you need to verify it's me, you can contact me directly. On top of that, I just want you all to know that I think the community is getting to be a better place. And I will get the discussion video out as soon as I can, as soon as the free time comes, but my life has gone pretty hectic and I got some news coming up that I gotta get out there. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was as informative as I could be about the discussion between campers and farmers. Hopefully we are able to kind of come to an agreement on that and we see the middle end. Killers, you just kill. Don't worry about what survivors feel. Survivors, you save each other to the best of your ability, and if you couldn't, that killer did a good job. Realize your own mistakes, and call out your allies for being who they did, or who they are, and what they did to you if they farmed you. But don't blame the killer for defending that hook if that farmer was around the corner and you knew damn well. And so, just play the way you want, really. That's it. Don't, don't blame others. Don't ask the questions, why? 
it's because he wanted to kill you or it's because you wanted to survive it's, it's it's a versus game we're being competitive let's get it out of the way don't forget to like comment subscribe and as always good game